Hi y'all, this is Melissa at Fort Mountain Quilting and today's project is on temperature quilts. So let's talk about what is a temperature quilt. Well a temperature quilt is where you're tracking the highs and the lows of a day of any particular area and you're creating a quilt out of it. Just pretty simple. So what's the first things that we need to do? Well for me the first thing I did was I went and just researched the climate of my area. I needed to know what is my average highs and what is my average lows of this area. But I also needed to know, like within the last couple of years, um, what is the lowest low and the highest high because we don't want to leave those temperatures out because they may happen. So what I did is I um, figured out my interval and I wrote it down on one of these great um, sheets here that um, you can get at Tweedletails. Um, this gives you an excellent idea of how to arrange your colors and your differences in temperatures. Um, it's really good if you use a particular collection and stay with that collection. So that way, just in case you run out of fabric, you can go back and purchase it. Um, I decided to use Grunge by Moda. Um, this one happens to be the Bella Solid and this one is the um, grunge which is very similar you can see um, not much difference so you're going from your coolest temperature with your coolest colors um, and then as you're getting warmer you're going to your warmer colors um, over here as you get warmer on your temperature scale so how does this work so what you need to do after you figure out your colors um, you're going to create this template and basically um, it's just like what I have here you want to write down your scale of numbers and then you want to glue or staple a piece of your fabric um, in your little blocks here to make sure that you are using the correct fabric every time um, this one right here is an example of what one of the ladies here um, locally is doing. She has her cool colors here and she's gradually growing to her warmer colors. All right, the next question is always asked, how much fabric do you need? That's really going to depend on your climate. If you stay in the middle ranges more, like 60s, 70s, 80s a lot, then you're going to want more fabric. Um, in that those particular colors I would say like a half a yard for the more extreme um, temperatures like for us we very seldom here get below like 10 degrees so I only probably need an eighth of a yard for that particular um, temperature and then my higher ones the same way really really hot we usually 95 is our highest temperature usually but we can get to 100 sometimes so we only need about an eighth of a yard for those really um, extreme temperatures but the ones in the middle you want to get a quarter yard to a half a yard of each one of those um, so what are some designs that you can do for your temperature quilt I laid out a few here um, some examples that you can do but you can be as creative um, as you want to be on this so for me I really like um, just the two colors here um, I'm previously taught earth science so I really really like the weather so um, this is going to be my low temperature and this is my high temperature and this is actually today's temperature so we woke up this morning in the teens and we're up in the 40s now so this represents my um, low for the day and then my high for the day you can do the same thing with half square triangles um, you might want to do it as a flying geese quilt you could do hexagons. Um, there are all kinds of great patterns that we're going to show you. Um, again, these are not my patterns. These are ones that I um, researched and found on the internet. So for example, here is um, one temperature quilt. This is a free pattern that you can get. Um, you just need to go to the Canadian Quilters Designs and you can um, pick up this free pattern. I love this one. Um, so if you notice, for each month, um, is each row is equal to a month so January February March and so forth as you go down so that is this um, particular person's temperature quilt I think it looks really cool um, I saw something um, earlier about putting rain or snow in there and I thought man that would be really cool so wouldn't that be neat to just add maybe a blue piece of fabric to represent snow and white piece to represent rain or vice versa somewhere in your um, quilt whether you applique a circle on it or just add an extra piece of fabric in there to account for that I thought that would be really cool so we're going to show you a couple of different patterns that we have found on the internet 
and give you some ideas on how to do this. So let's go to some pictures. This temperature quilt here is by Stephanie Hedstrom. And what she did is she used half square triangles. Um, what's really cool about this one is that if it was above average, she tilted her half square triangles one way. If it was below average, she tilted the triangle going the other way. And if you'll also notice there is a third color in some of them, that's representing either snow or rain. So you can check this one out on Moda's website. So the second quilt is done by Rebecca Cartwright and she is using hexagons and she's splitting them in half to represent the high and the low for the day. So those, that one turned out really nice as well. Another great quilt done by Jessica Quilter. This one's using the flying geese. But what I wanted to point out on this one is she has a key going down the side that represent her color so that she can go back and refer to that. So this one's a really cool one too. So Penny at Roundstones and Green Seas made this spectacular one with using circles. Um, looks like to me it's applique on. And she also includes um, a alphabet to represent the month that she's getting ready to show you. And so this one turned out really nice too if you like to applique. So I am super excited about doing this. Again, I used to be a nurse science teacher, so this is just right up my alley. Um, get to do a little bit of science along with my quilting. Um, I am going with the grunge. So um, I'm, I'm working on getting this bundle together. So if you struggle with getting um, fabrics together or you're just not sure that maybe that's just too much for you to try to get all the colors together, you can um, give us a call or message us. We will have this kit available within the next couple of days. I hope you really enjoy um, the tutorial today about temperature quilts. I know it's not the nice hot trend that's going on right now. So I hope that you will um, participate with us here at Fort Mountain Quilting. We believe in doing what makes our hearts happy. So long for now and I will see you later. Particular day. And so what you're gonna do is you're going to, um, I messed up, hold on. That don't sound right. Those temperatures. Um, so for example, that wasn't any good, right? So I'm really excited about doing one of these temperature quilts. I am just can't believe that it's just gonna be so much fun. I'm just really excited. Let's start all over.